particularly for the consultants amongst yeah. the service providers that we help. Like they have to be seen in, in a position of authority to be trusted in their expertise in whatever format it is that they're uh, delivering. But many of them uh, have very strong family values. Many of them like having a bunch of fun, but sometimes when they are then trying to uh, communicate that uh, through their brand, they just like leave it out because they are afraid that it's yeah. going to strip away the authority. How did you, how do, how does one begin to even do that? Um, one of the processes that I do, it's a voice finding exercise where we sort of identify somebody's core values and we get very granular. We, we start out with, uh, you know, about 120, I think, uh, values and kind of like go whittle it down to like four mm -hmm. and to, to figure out what the brand values are. And as we're whittling it down, a lot of people will be like, well, this is really important to me. I said, okay, it's really important to you, but does it show up in your brand? And then they're like, no. I was like, okay, well, let's make this a personal value. Yeah. Your writers don't need to copy this. This doesn't show up. It's still you. You're not losing anything, but we're identifying what shows up in your brand voice. Yeah. Is, is family values, okay, yes, I get that. What does that mean? Well, it means that I take, you know, I, I and work at uh, five o'clock every day, two o'clock on on Friday, I don't bring my computer home on the weekends. Cool. How does that show up in, in the brand? Well, it just means that I'm inaccessible after 5 p.m. Mm. Okay. We just have to put that somewhere and that's it. It's not going to show up on your copy. Like it's, it's just there. It's not, it doesn't come into play. This might be a little bit of a cold stab, but, uh, would you say one of your uh, core values is accuracy or precision? Um, it's funny. That's actually not a word that's on there, but yes, yes, I would. Um, and it, it makes sense. It's, um, but okay, I'll tell you exactly why and where it comes from, yeah. um, and why it shows up in my personal brand and how it's showed up in my, in my professional brand. It did show up there and it showed up because when I was uh, a writer, when I was working in-house for a company, it was a hotel brand and it had 12 different hotels at a time that, that I was writing for. So every time I wrote something, I had to adjust it 12 different ways. And each hotel had its own different stakeholder. And then there were, there were other people on the approval chain. So I'd say at minimum, if I was creating a, uh, a, a brand wide campaign for, for all hotels, there were about 20 different stakeholders. So it got to the point where I, everyone had their own opinion and because the brand guidelines were loose, everyone had an opinion and everyone was right. So I couldn't defend my copy. When I got this framework, I was able to defend my copy and explain my decisions. And I knew how to adjust each voice specifically by adjusting vocabulary, tone, or cadence, um, you know, by making the, the luxury brands, um, uh, more elevated with a, with a higher vocabulary level, as opposed to some of the, the family brands, which had a higher, um, a more fun tone. Um, but I, I knew what to adjust the vocabulary and, and the tones would, would adjust per brand. So I could explain this to the stakeholders and I'd show them compared to this brand to yours this is different and here's why I made this decision. And they'd be like, cool, this looks great. So I was able to explain it with that accuracy and that level of detail. And all of a sudden my confidence shot up. Mm -hmm. The reason why I dove into it so deep, uh, why I get so precise with it is because my confidence was shot the first two years when I was working with that and I could never defend any decision that I made. So the precision is there and I teach it to defend other people and to help them. Mm -hmm. So I'm precise with the reason of being supportive to give copywriters and, um, and clients as well by, as brands, by knowing these elements, you can work with copywriters better. You can get this specific feedback. So you're both happier. The brand is going to get better work. The copywriter is going to provide better work and you're both going to have more confidence in the copy that is on brand. So yes, it is precise, but it's in you, it's there for protection. Yeah. I, I'm here for it. And I know everyone listening is listening in, uh, is as well, uh, cause I, I tend to be pretty detail oriented myself and I seem to, you know, like attracts like, uh, it's yeah. to be, uh, how it goes. Uh, and it's, it's such a powerful, uh, tool, uh, for increasing quality. 
uh, essentially. And especially if the end goal is impact, uh, then yeah. quality is just an attribute that is 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 necessary uh, for being yeah. able to maximize impact. Uh, so that that is really cool. 